So the scope of what we're doing in a 10 day period is bigger than anything I've seen. And we just truly be expeditionary and be in you know, six, seven countries at once doing major operations uh, is one of the, the key things we wanted to prove we can do. And I believe with Vita, we, we've done that. We're in South America. We're outside of our joint operating area to show that we can go these places and we're working with a critical partner down here uh, in Colombia. Getting out there um, in the field with these guys and actually uh, conducting operations, uh, training exercises or real humanitarian aid and assistance to people that need it, uh, that gives us a, a practical knowledge and the um, actual like face-to-face -face interaction with the people who we would be supporting. It's been, it's been pretty active, non-stop flow, non-stop caring for people, putting smiles on people's faces as they get the medicines they need to recover. I feel that we are pretty mobile. Um, I feel like at any moment, any given moment, we can pick up and um, overnight go to where we need to be. It's a great exercise, it gives us an opportunity to map out what we're going to do and how we're going to do it and the preparedness so that we are ready when should we be called in the future. The benefit of working with the Colombian Army, their troops and our troops integrate together. We interchange, we cross train. We have you know, persistently worked with the Colombians for decades and you can see you know, you can see how a partnership grows over years and years and we can all look at problems the same way and can work together to solve them. We use civil affairs and the next two, MedRats and Trace Bocas, helping the Defense SCVU um, integrate with the cash during the medical readiness exercise, as well as bring in key leaders to amplify the effects, mainly to build trust between the population and, and their government.